Welcome to Mountain Express, everyone. We're gonna show off a bit of cutting here. First, we're gonna go to the last cube. It's generally the, the closest target and it's furth furthest away from everything else. So. What's, uh, what's, what he's doing is he's gonna cut down all the pillars. Uh, and when the, all the pillars here are cut down, uh, we're gonna cut the stairs and this will make it, this area fall down. It gives us a bunch of money. So. What's important to note here is that we're cutting down the entire stairs. Instead of just cutting uh, the small uh, walkway between these stairs and the column around. Uh, and that's important because this makes it harder to get up after we cut the top of the cube. So if you leave the stairs in, the enemy will be able to get very, very easily into your last cube. And that's a problem, so you gotta take out the stairs entirely. Supply drop incoming. Heads up. Now we're gonna cut this in two. Uh, this is because the max amount you can get is a thousand, uh, and this thing is gonna get more than a thousand. So you get five hundred, then you'll get about eight hundred in the other one. Five hundred fifty-two is this. Only eight hundred in a second. So that's above a thousand, which means we earned about three hundred for doing that. Now we're going to cut the cat to the top here, uh, because one, it gives a lot of money and also makes it hard for the enemy to hide up there. It's easy to defend, in some scenarios. You might notice here that there are some blocks that he skips, and that's because these blocks are half blocks, or slopes. And they're not actually, they're actually only touching the bottom part or the top part and not actually uh, connecting. So you can actually just skip these uh, if you know where they are. Um, if you don't know where they are, it's, uh, you'll, you'll probably hit a few of them, but uh, you'll learn that over time. So you can see this entire back row there. Uh, that's all half blocks that are extending from the top and doesn't touch the bottom. So they'll just fall along with and give us more money. This gives more than a thousand. So, I mean, it really doesn't give more money, but it's less to cut, so it takes you all the time to skip them. Now we get to the lava pillars. Usually you get your ninja on the team to do the lava pillars because he has the teleporting ability to get up again without having to suicide. And he can also, as you will see in a moment here, teleport between the two pillars by jumping and teleporting. Uh, but otherwise, if you don't have a ninja or you're just doing this by yourself, this is the recommended one to, the, the ones to do um, the, with the time you have if you're solo queuing. Let's do those pillars. You can just uh, bridge between the two platforms there and then suicide to get up. It's faster and costs less money. Also gives you full health because you'll take you might take some damage from the fall. Important to note here is that you take the the dome that is not inside the barrier. You see the other dome here to the left? That dome is halfway inside the barrier and it also has some metal blocks. You can't take that one out, well you can, but only after the game starts, in which case you don't want to do it. And also you also have to cut out the metal blocks, so yeah. 